All right, y'all, it is 2022. We are leveling up on our beard care, head care, and everything fatherhood. Let's get into it, y'all. Real men get it. So let's get right into it. This is gonna be kind of an update video, giving y'all a snapshot of what's been going on in my life, but I'm also gonna give you some game on beard care and head care, really hitting a lot of the questions that you guys have asked me over the course of this past year and trying to compile and string them down to some of the nitty gritty when it comes to our beard care and head care. So let's get right into it. All right, so let me get into some Scotch Porter products. I am a brand ambassador. Um, although I've been using Scotch Porter before I became a brand ambassador, I do love their products. And they have a brand new beard mask uh, that is a really good fit if you are trying to um, soften up your beard, get a, a good deep condition, or if you maybe have had a brittle beard and you just want to kind of give it some TLC. So the beard mask comes with uh, two to three applications where you can put a deep conditioner and just put it on as an actual mask. Um, they say you can put it on for a couple of hours or even overnight. I chose to put mine on for a few hours um, and it did soften up my beard. I thought it was going to absorb everything, but I did put a lot of product on and it did not absorb. So it left my beard flaky when it was all said and done. So I still ended up doing a full beard wash. But I thought it was a really good product, um, especially if you, you know, just want to refresh your beard um, and stop it from maybe being brittle. Uh, so utilize this. It'll be a good fit for you. One of the things I didn't like, the mask was a little tight. Um, I made it fit on my big beard. Scotch Porter uh, just told me that they were redoing the mask and sending me out a test product. So it'll be cool to kind of see how that works. But overall, had to laugh at myself for actually doing it, but it, it was a good product to utilize. So again, wash it out when it was all said and done and got my beard ready for the next day so I could actually take care of doing my beard care and head care. Uh, so definitely recommend it um, as a good product to be able to utilize. And this is answering the question that I get from people all the time of how do you get a soft beard? This is one way to okay, get your so I got my mask. Some good beard. I did that yesterday, so I'm good to go moving forward with the rest of my routine um, when it comes to uh, actually trimming my head first and I'm going to work on the beard. So for those of you who have no idea who I am or you're in being introduced to me for the first time, um, I've been on this journey uh, for the past two plus years doing Real Men Get It Done uh, really as an avenue to um, just help men um, honestly just level up and make life, home life easier in a number of different avenues. One of those being beard care, head care. Another of them just um, being whatever we can to help simplify our lives, bros. Like for me, being able to do my beard care and head care at home saves me time because I don't have to go out to the barbershop weekly. My hair grows back so fast, so I don't have to go spend time at the barbershop for one. And also I don't have to go spend the money at the barbershop. So investing in my own tools and knowing how to do this myself, I save time and money every week getting it done and doing it by myself. So that's the first stop, first step, I should say, in getting my head prepared for shaving. Um, one of the things I always get asked, so just the FYI about the different products and things that I use, I try my best to put them in the description. So check there, use all of my links, um, their affiliate links, so I get a small percentage kickback, but I'm giving you all the game with all of my links and everything in the description um, of all of my videos. Uh, so the whole goal is to trim the hair down um, because what I am trying to avoid is uh, irritation. Irritation causes us to get bumps and razor burn and all that good stuff. So that's what we're trying to eliminate. So I love using um, just a um, larger clipper, you know, that's not gonna cut too close uh, to the head um, to avoid that irritation, get it cut down as low as we can. Then we'll move forward with our actual um, uh, shave. And I use a, a Neutrogena um, sensitive shaving a cream. I also use a Gillette razor that is a safety guard razor. It still does not cut super close to the skin. Definitely needed um, to help with um, avoiding that irritation. 
here it is right here. It'll be in the description, but it helps with uh, to avoid that irritation because what happens a lot of times those other razors, they're so sharp, four or five blades, it's like it's going over the area four or five times. And for us, a lot of times the men of color, we have sensitive skin. Men just may have sensitive skin uh, as a, in general. So we want to avoid that irritation. So I love this because it allows me to go at least over my head twice and avoid that irritation. I still do have some sensitive spots on my head. So I usually will use the clippers to um, get those pieces at the neck, the bottom of my neck, because that's a very sensitive area. And I try to make sure I shave just above that. So if you're someone that suffers with sensitive uh, skin, maybe at the bottom as well, you may have to be able to use just like a clipper and get as close as you can to the bottom of your neck and make sure you don't shave that low, but then shave, you know, actually where hair would grow and above. So that's just a little bit of the game right there. Again, all those links will be in the description regarding um, my beard hair care, the Neutrogena, the Gillette Guard, and the shaving. All right, so one of the biggest things I'm always asked is again about irritation to the head. So I told you I love my Gillette, um, the skin guard, because it's not extremely sharp. It only has two blades, but it has um, really awesome buffers to prevent that irritation on the skin. So I love using it. But sometimes I know, bros, it happens. The irritation happens and you get it. So what can you do uh, to alleviate it? First and foremost, as soon as I'm done with my head, I usually will um, use some Bump Patrol on the top of it. Bump Patrol does a really good job of preventing those radar burns to happen. This isn't 100% foolproof. Um, sometimes it works maybe 95% of the time. But let me hit you to at least two other remedies that could possibly help if you occur a little bit of razor burn or irritation. Actually, um, cough suppressant, like the Vicks Vapor Rub. I'm not suggesting necessarily putting this on the entire part of your head because it will have that cool menthol sensation. But sometimes on the very back of my neck where I may get some of that irritation, um, where I may have some bumps there, um, it just always have a sensitive area here anyway. Um, it doesn't feel burning or tingling right now because so I did it the right way. I shaved with my clippers and then um, did the razor on this part of the head. But sometimes I'll have to use this. It really helps um, to kind of cool down and um, get those bumps away. And then the third thing I want to hit you guys to is Prid. Um, now I'm going to have this in my Amazon store uh, for you guys to get this. You can get it off of Amazon. But this is awesome. Um, it, I, I found about this because my wife, my wife uh, got me hip to this. Uh, but I had a real bad irritation, um, honestly, like a boil on my leg. And I couldn't get rid of it. And putting this on, it kind of took the irritation and, and redness away of the boil. And so it's 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 for that. It, it says it relieves discomfort and minor skin irritations superficial cuts and scratches. Um, so um, I have one I'm already using. This is a brand new one I haven't, but it's called Prid, P-R-I-D. It'll be in my description. Those are my three go-tos if I have any irritation um, anywhere in my head, or even if I would have any irritation um, here after I'm done um, with my beard care. So let's keep it. I almost forgot um, I was doing a lot, it was going fast, to talk about shaving. That's one of the questions I do get, how to shave properly. So in order to avoid that irritation that we definitely wanna do, first of all, you want to shave. Um, if you're new and starting off or if you have super sensitive skin, always just shave um, with the grain of your head. And what that means is, it's the way your hair would naturally grow. So typically, uh, the sides will grow, you know, come out and grow down. The top will come out and grow forward. So that's how you would shave. Strokes down, get to the top, above, back, down, sides, down. That's an easy way to do it. What the Gillette allows me to do, because again, I, I don't get irritation when I use this, is allows me to do it twice for me to go with the grain. And then um, if you saw me shaving as well, some of the times I will go against the grain. So usually try to do one sweep where I'm going uh, one way and then I can go 
against the grain to get a little bit of a closer shape, but I have still been able to avoid irritation by using this shaper. Now I've used so many different times types. People give me so many different suggestions. My skin is super sensitive. So this is what works for me. Uh, ultimately, you do have to find what works for you, but that's just a quick tutorial of how you should shave. And if I do get irritation, I always, um, always have a backup and I'll just use clippers to do my hair, clippers to shave. Um, they don't go as close as a razor, and this is always a great backup. So sometimes you may have to uh, rotate in and out between maybe using this if you have really sensitive skin and just using a clippers uh, to kind of shave your head and get it as close as you can. All right, next we gotta talk about our products for our beard care. Um, I use Scotch Porter. I'm a brand ambassador. Uh, I have to hype them up. But I'll be perfectly honest, I've used so many different hair products over the years, guys, from Rick Ross to you name it, everything. And Scotch Porter has really grown on me. I was using them before I became a brand ambassador, but their products are dope. And I love over the years how they've grown and expanded into just overall grooming for men. So they have fragrances, they have um, um, hair, hair care, if you have hair, uh, they have um, the beard care um, and just the face care as well. So even vitamins, so they've been really dope and growing over the course of the years. So what I'm gonna show you is my routine. I'm gonna give myself a quick cut beard shape up. Recommend every man being able to do that themselves or go to the barber shop. But every man should be able to at least trim up their beard slightly, um, just so that, you know, you can save that time and money. So just go at it, be gentle. Um, don't do too much too soon. Just take a little bit off just to kind of get some of those split hairs. But the couple of things I will say about the tools that I use, wooden wooden combs wooden brushes are so important because they don't rip the hair as metal or plastic does so invest in a good wooden comb it'll get you right and then the other thing is just your products so i showed you the um the beard the the, the mask at the beginning that's a piece of my routine that i can use um i i, I used it honestly just to try it out um, and, and to put in my rotation every now and again, but I've been using these products for so long that my beard care is good. But if you're brand spanking new to it, definitely recommend getting a, a mask or using it every now and again. Um, Scotch Porter is doing some awesome things with that beard mask um, in the here near future. But you gotta have a good beard wash. So I use my beard wash for a deep condition and clean uh, once a week. On my regular every day, um, I mostly use my face wash. Uh, so that's, I call that a gentle rinse. So if I'm in the shower, you know, for the daily, um, it's just a quick get the face wash, get it rinsed out. I'm not doing a very deep clean where I'm spending, you know, four or five minutes in the shower, making sure I rotate between beard wash and conditioner. So the face wash of Scotch Pour is like my every day to keep the beard um, right. You have to make sure you're using cool water with your beard. Uh, it helps so it doesn't strip all the nutrients of your beard. Um, and outside of that, just making sure you have a good product at the um, at the end of that routine or just daily. So I rotate between having some beard balm by Scotch Porter and also they have a beard and hair conditioner spray. So using a couple sprays of this and this as well, which you'll see as I end my routine. Um, so yeah, I know that could have been, um, it may seem like a lot for us, but with anything, if you take practice, take your time with it, it'll become second nature and you'll be good to go. But there's been friends I've turned on to Scotch Porter and let them use some of my products that I've had and they love it and their wives and girlfriends comment on how soft and just awesome their beard smells. So I highly recommend Scotch Porter. Let's get into it to finish up my routine and then I'll end with just a few more nuggets of advice.
All right, y'all, as I'm finishing up, a couple of things using the balm and my spray as I said I would. Man, just thank y'all so much. If you're new or if you are have been following me and following the movement, um, I have merch to support father's hood, um, to support men. So holler at the merch. It'll be the link in, the, be, be in my description. Um, and also just just trying to level up this year, y'all. I like a beard care, hair care is important. Um, we're gonna start doing some things just to try to promote fatherhood and how awesome dads are in general and just keep leveling up. So continue to be with me on this journey um, as we continue to bring more just awesomeness of dads, of real men getting it done, destroying those excuses. And just I, as I continue to level up on my brand of who I am, of who Corey is. So thank y'all so much for rocking with me. As always, I could have missed something, of course. Drop those comments in the description. I love answering and hollering at y'all um, and share some of your tips and tricks as well. Till next time, peace and blessings. Let's continue to level up in 2022. All right, real men get it done.